Hey, this is John Tedesco with the San Antonio Express News, and today I'm going to do an overview of a really cool transcription service called Trint. So what is Trint and what problem does it try to solve? Um, for that answer, this is going to be kind of unique because I actually had a chance to interview one of Trint's co-founders, Jeff Kaufman, who actually helped come up with the idea for this. And I'm actually going to use Trint to show you my interview with Jeff and how it works. So let's start off with Jeff's uh, answer to my question about uh, uh, what is Trent. I've been a broadcast television journalist in the US and earlier in Canada for more than 30 years. And I figure I probably spent thousands of hours of my life transcribing my own interviews, news conferences, speeches. And you know, when I started in television in the 1980s, um, we actually, in the newsroom I started in, had manual typewriters and we had telex, te teletype machines bringing the news in. I, I mean, everything about the technology of journalism in, in my... I'm going to stop it there for a second. So this is um, Trent's web, uh, web page. Um, to your right here is a MP4 file, a video file of Jeff talking to me on uh, WebEx. Um, this Jeff recorded himself in the interview, so this is not the actual WebEx video. So the audio quality is is much better than what WebEx would have provided. So we can see Jeff talking to me uh, down here in the right corner. Trent, you can upload all kinds of um, files, audio files and video files, MP3, MP4, stuff like that. So this was uploaded to Trent. After that upload, Trent generated this uh, this transcript automatically of what Jeff said. Um, I didn't type any of this. This was all generated by Trent. Um, so as the video plays, the transcript becomes a little bit darker. The, the transcript go, kind of rolls along with the recording like karaoke journalism in, in my 30 plus year career all the technology has changed the whole workflow has been transformed in ways that we could never have dreamed in the 1980s except this one part of the journalist workflow which is how do we get the content out of our interviews you know we used mini cassette recorders when i began now we use iphones or digital recorders uh, we had, of course, um, when I began, it was three quarter inch videotape and then beta video, half inch video, and then discs. And now, of course, it's chips or cards. And, and the reality is all of that's changed. But we still have to go play, stop, type, rewind, play, stop, type. Anybody who has done an interview and transcribed as a journalist, an academic, uh, a, a corporate communications person, uh, a lawyer, a police officer, understands what I've just said. Getting the content out of recorded talk is still t stuck in the 1960s or 70s. So it's a pretty cool um, uh, feature that uh, is really unique and saves a lot of time. Now you might have noticed if you were reading closely that the the transcript was not 100% accurate. Um, Jeff says uh, Trent is pretty good at generating these transcripts, but um, you have to eyeball the results and make sure that they, they truly reflect what was said because automated transcription is still a imperfect science. So um, this is where Trent comes in. You can actually, let's check out right here. There was a period inserted that actually wasn't really necessary. Anybody who has done an interview and transcribed as a journal. So we can actually, with Trent, go in. And edit that and correct it. Anybody who has done an interview and transcribed as a journalist, an academic, uh, a, a corporate. Trent really relies on the quality of the audio to be effective. If you know, you're in the back of a lecture hall or something listening to a professor and um, expect 
sterling results, you're going to be disappointed. So good, clean audio help, <clears throat> helps produce good, clean transcripts. But I think this is where Trent really shines, where, um, you know, this, if right down here, you see the length of the video is 34 minutes, minutes, three seconds. Maybe for my purposes, there are just two or three real gems of information that I want to, you know, find, grab, and use. Um, that's where Trent comes in really handy because you can search this transcript by keyword and quickly focus in on what it is you're 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 trying to find. So um, let's see. Just as, as an example, um, uh, there was a point in my in my interview with Jeff where uh, he was talking about how his background as a journalist, he used to be um, a correspondent with ABC News, been all over the world. And he talked about how that taught him to be flexible when things change on the ground, the unexpected happens, and how, how that helped him in his new job uh, at a startup tech company. So now I remember, you know, he was talking about landing in Libya and things not going as he expected. So I just hit control find, typed in Libya, and boom, there it is. Here is the exact section I was interested in. But, you know, when you land uh, in Libya and you've got a deadline because Gadda something's happened with Gaddafi and you just finally got in and you've just arrived in Tripoli and you've got four hours to air, you're making decisions on the fly and things go wrong and boy, have I been there. And then you get... So in the old days, you know, uh, this is why Trent is so great. I mean, if if I was trying to find that section in, in a recording, um, I would have had to go to my audio, audio player and just kind of guesstimate where that part what was. You know, maybe I could compare it to my notes, um, but it was still it would still take some time to do that. Whereas with Trent, I can quickly pinpoint the information I'm interested in. Um, the other nice thing about Trent is all the editing and listening happens in one place. Um, again, in the old days, you would juggle back and forth between your audio player and whatever Word document you're using. So you'd listen to something, type, then you have to go back to your audio player, stop it, rewind it a little bit probably guesstimate how far back you have to rewind. It was just tedious, inefficient, and time consuming. So Trent strives to solve that for you and, and save you some time. And I think it does a pretty good job. Um, so I, I'm going to go over a few features here and kind of get into a little detail about what we're looking at. So pointing out the length of the video down here in the left-hand corner. This uh, bar shows you, you know, the, the recording. You can jump around and the transcript will jump to that point as well. So basically, if you wanted to go down to the end of the recording, you can do that or the beginning or whatever. Uh, Trent uses uh, several uh, shortcuts. The primary ones are control space is play and pause. Control R, you rewind five seconds if you want to re-listen to something. It also has highlight and strike through features and undo and redo. The highlight and strike through are pretty cool. Um, let's go back to my the Libya thing that we listened to. Let's say I really like that section. Um, now I can highlight that. I can click right here or use the shortcut control H that's highlighted. It's given me a timestamp too, right here. Let's say, um, let's say there's another section I want to highlight. Um, and maybe I like this one too. Now what you can do here this is pretty cool. You can, um, Play just the highlights. But, you know, when you land uh, in Libya and you've got a... 
In the upper right hand corner, there's an export function. And you have two options. You can export the entire document, which we'll get to, or you can export just the highlights. And here we go. These are the these are the parts that I highlighted that I cared about with timestamps showing me where that occurred in the interview. Um, there are little arrows here where you can designate speakers. I wrote Jeff here in this graph. Um, This helps to keep track of who's talking in a transcript where you have multiple speakers. You can also export everything. Um, you have your standard Word document, and um, the interactive transcript is also pretty cool. It generates a zip file where you end up with a um, HTML file that has a transcript and the recording is is attached to that as well so you can listen to the recording and read the transcript at the same time so that just created a, a zip file that i can use and send to people you can also email trent files essentially this is inviting a colleague to log into trent and check out um, the transcript and the recording that you're working on so you can share you can share this stuff with colleagues if you're not interested in a particular thing um, let's say I don't like this part where it's just not relevant Trim, you can you can use the strike through function and Trent will skip over it keep so going see how that sounds and, and uh, despite the, 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 the problem so I just totally skipped over that section so a few things to keep in mind about Trent. It doesn't use a lot of punctuation. It uses periods, but no commas and stuff and other types of punctuation. So keep that in mind. That will probably mean that you'll have to go in and do some revisions for the stuff you want to use. Um, Trent can be kind of buggy if you have certain plugins in Chrome. Uh, I encountered this, I think... My problem was um, uh, the Adobe Acrobat button or uh, plugin was interfering with Trent. It basically screws up the typing when you try to revise the transcript. So um, I actually deactivated that and have had no problems. So just something to keep in mind if if that's if that becomes an issue for you. Um, security. Uh, Jeff says that Trent takes privacy and security very seriously. Um, but I would, you know, he points out, keep in mind, this is a cloud service. If you have a extremely sensitive interview with somebody or something that you don't want getting out, then um, just be cautious, you know, just be aware that this is a cloud-based service. And there are some really cool features with Trent coming up. Um, Jeff says sometime in mid-year of 2017, they're going to come out with a Trent player where you can actually share this stuff online, uh, these transcripts and videos or audios, uh, audio files where um, you can post it on a website. And so this recording that had no metadata um, suddenly has a full transcript that people can find and read. I think Trent is pretty cool. It is not free. It does cost money. It costs, there are various pricing plans. It starts off with a free trial. And then from there, you, uh, the most expensive rate is 25 cents per minute of the file size of the recording. If you find yourself having to transcribe entire interviews, 
and you really need to get everything down. You could do that with Trent, but there are some free alternatives out there that would save you a buck. Um, like I said, I think Trent really comes into its own when you maybe you just need a handful of, of quotes and you want to find them quickly and you really don't feel like waiting through a hour long recording. This, this would be a godsend. I mean, especially if you have a really, really clean audio that generates a really good transcript. Um, then you can just kind of zip around and find stuff that you need on the fly and boom, you're done. Jeff, Thanks for your time in talking with me. And everybody else, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.